Hey there, cute stuff. Welcome to another pick a card with me, the Divination Duchess. So we know it's about that time. It's about to be November. It is. It's November. Oh, Lord, this year passed by so quick. But anyways, it is what it is. We are going to tap into our November predictions here this month. Let me know if y'all want me to keep doing these monthly prediction videos. I really don't do them that much just because it's like everybody is doing them, but I know everybody's also got um, different insight, different awareness. So if you feel like they're relevant, please hop in the comments, let me know, and I will make these every month. But if don't nobody say nothing, I don't know because, you know, I really love the more juicier or the more... um once it's not necessarily in alignment with everybody is doing at the exact same time every month. Do you get what I'm saying? Anyways, we got three cards to choose from here. Card number one, which is the Hermit. Card number two, the High Priestess. Or card number three, which is the Two of Cups. These are cards from my Galaxy Tarot deck. And it has all galactic images, which are super cute. Anyways... Let's go ahead and get started with these reveals to see what goodness we got coming here in the month of November. Hey, Pile One. So quickly before we get started, I just want to say if you haven't checked out Patreon, you are missing out on exclusive video content, free live readings every month, an exclusive group coaching community where you get community support, learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into that confidence you deserve, as well as you can find some intuitive courses on my website to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or to simply leave your your toxic relationship patterns behind you and of course if you'd like to book a reading you can find the details for all of that in the description box below all right there cute stuff hey boo hey so you picked here card number one the hermit so we're gonna check out here these november predictions for you like I said in the intro video, in case you didn't catch it, if you like these predictions, I'm trying to decide if I should keep doing these monthly ones or not. I do them kind of spotty because it's like, oh, but it's not about me. It's for you. It's for you. So if you want these, let me know in the comment section. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. This time I'm going to start off with some oracles first and then end on the tarot. I usually do the other way around. Spirit, give us insight here for pile one. What is it that they need to know? What's coming in the month of November? First, let's start off with their energy here for the month of November. What are they encompassing? I love this here for you for the end of November. I mean, for the month of November, we got you in the energy of the grizzly bear. And what I love about this grizzly bear energy is this grizzly bear is on the hunt. All right. This grizzly bear got him a juicy fish. Right. Um, and so spirit is saying that this is a month where you are going to be in your power. All right. You are going to be in that energy of relentlessness and hunting, getting what you want out of life, even if it gets cold and wet because this polar bear is wet i said polar bear it's a regular grizzly bear but it's this bear is wet it's cold all right but they're coming out on top and so spirit is saying this is you coming out on top it's going to be a month where you are feeling indestructible okay it's going to be a month where you know your own power where you know that you're going to succeed when you're not giving up on things it's like you're truly manifesting what you want what you deserve what you desire because you are trusting and you are in your power to make it happen you're trusting your own intuition at this time you're allowing you to lead you. You're not really taking a lot of advice from other people or allowing other people's pre-notions, thoughts, feelings, desires, you know, affect you because you know your own strength. And so with this, it's like you're really showing yourself love. You're really showing yourself compassion. You're really showing yourself gentleness. And so with this, you are truly manifesting everything that it is that you desire. And Spirit is telling me there's a strong, strong energy around you here for the month of November of not giving a damn what other people have to say, what they feel in, what they're thinking. You're not allowing people to project things on you here in the month of November. There's no projections here. It's like, I know my power. I know my worth. I know my abilities. I know my capabilities. All right. And I'm going to be making things happen. And this really 
reminds me of the energy that I'm in right now. I'm really working hard here to bring you guys a lot of good content. And of course, the haters, the trolls got to jump out there, right? To try to tear you down, to try to make you stop doing what you're doing. But what is happening? I'm in my power, baby. I'm claiming this grizzly bear right now. Nothing that anybody can say is going to change a thing that I'm doing, all right? Unless it's, you know, y'all, I love you. If you need something, then I got you. But the trolls and the haters, buzz off. All right, Spirit, tell us more here about November 4, Pile 1. What is it that they can expect? What's coming here for them? Pile 1, November. Oh, I love it. So we're starting off with the Imagine card. Give us more. Give us more. We got Deep Knowing. And one more here, November, November. And the Tribe. So... Spirit is saying here that in November, you are definitely in that place where, like I said, you're knowing your own power and your capabilities. So you are dreaming big is what I'm getting with this Imagine card. I love this card, okay? It's like not that energy of suddenly, oh, well, I guess I'll just do this because it's easy. No, we're not doing it because it's easy. We are dreaming big, all right, pile one? So it's like the more that you kind of see yourself in these great positions in your life. And dreaming big can be different for every person. So this could be seeing yourself very successful at the top of your career, right? This could see yourself, you know, on your wedding day, having this great, beautiful relationship. This could see yourself, you know, building your family, building your wealth, building stability. Whatever it is here that you imagine for yourself, you're going for the gold, all right? We are not settling for the silver. We ain't settling for the copper. No, we want the gold here in November. So with this spirit of saying that you're really understanding your yourself and you're coming into a deep awareness of who you are, what you can bring to the table, and you're not letting anything get in your way once again. Like I said, this is a time where we're not taking a lot of outside advices. You're not really in that mode of listening to other people, but you are in that mode of surrounding yourself with the right people, with the right tribe. So November is all about you being around your soul tribe, okay? Your soul tribe helps you to be more empowered, okay? This ain't the naysayers, the haters, the people that, you know, think they know everything but don't know nothing. It's not them. No, it's your tribe. That's the people that are supportive, caring, nurturing, loving, right? Because what? You're being loving and gentle with yourself. So you're going to be surrounding yourself with people that bring the same energy towards you. And so this is really helping you to continue to grow and manifest here, in the month of November because you are aligning yourself with other people that are supportive or going after the same goals as you. So it's like you get some sense of an actual push. And this actually reminds me of my current situation as well because I've always been surrounded around people that, you know, don't have the same necessarily um like look at work as I do. Like I love to work like it's like a real bad habit. And I finally, you know, met the right person and we're going to be doing this together. You get what I'm saying? Like constant work, work, work. So it's like when you find the right tribe that's working towards the same thing as you, it's going to help boost you. Spirit, give us more here. November 4, pile 1, November. All right. I love that. We got pay yourself first and let's get another one. Ooh, while also giving, that's always positive. And some of you are going to be making some actual changes here in your career. So pay yourself first. This is all about you making sure you have enough funds for yourself, for your future, for things that are going to create a bigger bang in your life, right? Because what? You're feeling relentless. You're feeling powerful. And so it's like you're going to use this here towards your greatest and highest good. And I love this pay yourself first card. It says, make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside of your portion of income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. So a great amount of savings is happening here in November. You are putting away money for yourself and this is a great time to do it because we know with all the holiday shopping and everything people be doing you know um this is you putting yourself first like i'm not about to go broke on all this holiday shopping no i'll do what i can but i know that i need this for myself so i gotta give you kudos thumbs up because i know a lot of us we ain't, we ain't got that same self-control i'm gonna follow on this next 
you're also going to be in a very giving energy. And now I love this because there's a great balance in November. It's like, yes, you take care of yourself, but you're still giving. You're still in this place of sharing with others with a smile on yourself, giving joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you, your tribe, right? And it says, know that your generosity is going to be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. It doesn't matter if this is time, supplies, money, or other resources, whatever happens, whatever you bring and give to others, Spirit is saying it's going to multiply for you tenfold as well during this period of time in November. So it's like whatever you put out is coming back to you. So we don't want to be stingy, okay? We don't want to be greedy. We want to take care of ourselves, but also still give. And Spirit is saying for some of you as well, there's some sort of employment change that is coming in. Now with an employment change, this could be an actual change of jobs, right? But this also could be adding in something that makes you happy, following through in your purpose. Um, focus on starting another business. Like for instance, I know that I am going to start doing other things outside of just, you know, readings and coaching, which I do full time, but I'm going to be focused on other things. So there's other things here that you're going to be working towards. that's going to bring you additional finances. It says your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, your priorities, your passions, and your life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being um, supported every step of the way. So there's a lot of love and support support here, not just from your tribe, but from your spirit team, from source, God, the divine the universe, your angels, spirit guides, ancestors all coming through to have you back as you make these shifts and changes. Spirit, tell us more here about the month of November for pile one, November, November. We got the full, which is always a good energy. I'm going to take, matter of fact, both of these, the nine of swords. A ten of wands. I love this. All right. So spirit, first of all, saying you're definitely in this place where you are trusting a lot more. And this is coming from you stepping into this power. So whatever was stressing you before, whatever was stressing you in October, whatever was stressing you last month, whatever was stressing you and seeming like it was more difficult, spirit is saying you're releasing that burden. And it's not like you're getting rid of it. No, it's like you're no longer stressing. You're no longer worrying. You're no longer overthinking. What you're doing is you're stepping into that power, right? And, and making things happen. Um, Spirit is saying you're assessing your options. You're analyzing. You're very smart right now in the month of November. You're looking at everything from an objective point of view is what I'm getting. And you're going to make decisions that work best for your highest good. You're not going to make decisions just because other people want you to. You're not going to make decisions from people pleasing or from pressure. But the decisions you make are going to be for your highest good in November. Spirit is saying that in itself becomes a major shift and a major change in your life. We know that the time represents those major shifts and changes but nine times out of ten it has to happen for the good to come out and so spirit is saying that you are now going to be noticing opportunities that you were leaving behind before right and this is coming from you stepping into your power and and having that awareness and having this great imagination right visuals of what you are bringing into your life they're saying that missed opportunities are coming back around in november but it's up to you this time to create magic with these missed opportunities. Spirit is saying it's up to you to not step into missing these opportunities again, okay? So when opportunities present themselves here in November, Spirit is saying take that leap, jump, create the magic. You have the ability to do so. The magician is the master of all elements. So back into stepping into your power, right? And when you master all elements, you don't have to worry about nothing because you know how to use all your resources, all your tools, everything around you here to make things work for your highest and greatest good. So spirit is saying that overall, you're going to be overcoming a lot of obstacles and you're going to be overcoming energy in areas of your life where you may have been trying to be too controlled before. Uh-uh. You're not being too controlled because you're releasing the fear. You're moving forward. You're trusting your heart space. And with that, you are manifesting a lot of good here for yourself. It was a pleasure as always. I am sending you love, light, and blessings. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll be talking to you later. Bye. 
PayPal too. So quickly, I just want to say Patreon is the place to be. We got exclusive video content, free live readings every month, exclusive group coaching where there's community and support. You learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into the confidence you deserve. I also have intuitive courses on my website where you can open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, as well as learn to leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you. And if you want to book a personal reading, the details for that is below. All right there, pile two. Hey, boo. Hey. So you picked actually card number two, right? The high priestess. So we are going to check it out and see here what is going on for your month of November? If you didn't check out the intro, I said, okay, if you are a person, okay, if you love these monthly prediction videos, let me know in the comments because, you know, I don't like to be repetitive with what everybody's doing at the same time, but if y'all want them, I want to give them. So let me know. We're going to start off here today with the oracles first and then the tarot. We're going to do things a little better backwards from the way I usually do it. So Spirit, go ahead and let us know here what energy pile two is going to be in for the month of November. Oh, I am loving this. Okay, pile two. Yes, honey. Yes, a dolphin. And you know, this really makes sense. I actually saw a dolphin. I went to the beach with my boo this past weekend, okay? And we was being crazy. I don't know why we was in the water when it was going towards dusk, but I saw this big dolphin like dump, jump up and jump back in the water. I said, babe, the big fish are out. Like, we got to go, all right? So I'm taking that here as further confirmation here for pile two. You are in the energy of the dolphin here here for the month of November and what better energy to be in because this means that it's a time of happiness and playful energy this is good we don't always need it to be heavy we don't always need it to be dramatic we don't always need it to be more problems to solve and, and all that no 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 pile two all right boo it's all about happiness joy playfulness okay it's about going with the flow allowing things to be easy for yourself here in the month of november it's like you're not creating resistance for yourself you're not stepping into any situations that bring resistance it's like as soon as you feel the drama the negativity you walk it away it's like i'm out of here i'm not about to deal with this right now because i'm trying to live my best life i'm living my best life I ain't going back and forth with you. You get what I'm saying? Like you ain't going back and forth with not a single person, not a single soul. You're feeling very confident. All right. You have nothing to stress about, worry about, no fears that you are allowing yourself to fall into. You're feeling very wise here about your decision-making processes, about your ability to cut out the nonsense and focus on what makes you happy. For some of you, I'm actually seeing some sort of travel, vacation, time with family, time with friends, all right? I'm seeing a lot of goodness and positivity when it comes to your November. So I know there's some, some holidays, right? But I feel like even outside of that, there's a lot of good stuff here in November. Spirit, tell us more about Pile 2. What's, pop, what's popping off? What's happening in November? Okay, exchanging gifts. I love it. What's happening in November? Pile 2. A leg up. Uh-huh. And one more. One more. We got the never-ending story. And this is what I was saying, okay? We're not falling for it. It's like there's been some recurring issues in your life or maybe a recurring problem. For some of you, this is a person that's recurrently working on your last damn nerves, okay? Or this is a situation that's just been working on your nerves, has been stressing you. And it's like you've already worried about it. You've stressed about it. You've tried to fix it. At this point, you're whatever. You're like, I'm not about to keep doing this. So Spirit is saying here that, I'm getting that this exchanging gifts is really an energy exchange that's happening within you, okay? You're releasing that energy of frustration and stress, and instead you are focusing on that playful energy, and I love it here because we know cats are very playful, right? Right? That I know of. I've never had one, but that I've seen, all right? So, the Spirit is saying here that you're getting a leg up. You're getting ahead of this negativity and this drama because you're not allowing it to continue to flow in your mind. In this never-ending story card, this is your past energy of, 
okay, here again is some new drama. Here again is some negativity. Here again is some lies. Here again is some problems. No, as soon as it pops up, you're like, mm, okay, well, that sounds like a personal problem is what I'm getting from a lot of you. Like whatever this person is like, this is not my problem. I'm getting a lot of nonchalant energy and this is actually good. Sometimes people hate when others are nonchalant. Oh, you don't care? No, I don't care. That's what you said in pile two. I don't care anymore. Like I've put enough energy and all it's been doing is stressing me out. I'm having a good time. I'm playing. I'm doing me, honey. I am doing me. Spirit, give us more here about November for pile two. What do they need to know? Pile two, November, November. Okay, so we got dreams of abundance organization yes yes and a windfall oh yes honey a windfall is always good i want that card to come out when i do my personal reading later okay not about me anyway so spirit is saying here that november is all about you getting a lot of things that it's like there's things that have been sitting kind of dormant, certain dreams that you've had or aspirations. But I feel like this playful energy in you has you on such a high, on such a cloud nine, right? That these things are coming back to light. And so Spirit is saying it's going to be a month where you have a heightened dream state, okay? So this means that there are certain things that are going to be happening here in your dreams that are giving you signs and signals as to what is coming next and and i know all about these dreams because at first i never this past year i've actually had a heightened psychic psychic ability in the dreams and so one thing that they showed me just last week they showed me my ex-husband working my last nerve then the next day of course he was there to work my last nerve you get what i'm saying last night i had a dream of this great exchange happening between me and another person and i know it's about to happen so spirit is saying for you in november there's a lot of dreams that are occurring i'm hearing at least three it might not be some of you are going to be more prevalent dreamers than the other but at least three main themes here that are coming out in your dreams that's helping you to be more successful or have a happier life, build the life that you want, manifest everything that you desire. And it says, it says, as you sleep, okay, God, your angels, your higher self, source, right? It's giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because it may contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. Especially if you are a heightened dreamer, like if you dream a lot, you want to write this stuff down because it's going to be hard to remember. Or if you're one of those people that forget all your dreams, write this stuff down. I used to be like that, okay? I used to be like that, but now that I know that they're psychic dreams, I hold on to them for their life and it be happening, honey. Anyways, you're also going to be getting very organize here in the month of November. Your organization is going to make you a lot more successful and lead you to a great windfall financially um, that's going to be coming in. All right. So it could be financially. It could be some level of support. It could be kind of getting what you want out of your relationships, your connections. But Spirit is saying the more that you organize your life, organize your space, organize your time, the happier you are going to be here in November. It says, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of your purpose. What is it that I'm doing, boo? What is it that you're doing, right? It says, organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living space, your workspace, your finances. This is going to help you know and plan your next action steps. So, there is a level of planning here, focusing on your future, even while you're having fun. It's like there's certain things that are coming out that's going to trigger you in your dreams. You're going to try to organize all this, get this in a way to where you can manifest it into the material realm, right? And Spirit is saying that November is also a month of great abundance. So we got an increase. What? An increase. We're going to try this again, okay? In abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them are unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, your health, your charitable work. Is there to support you, boo? Okay, so there's a great windfall coming in for pile two here in the month of November, as well as with the positive mindset, the play, psychic abilities, dreams, hmm, deep organization. Let's get more spirit. Give us insight. What's coming in November for pile two? What's coming for them? What do they need to know? So a two of wands, this brings more planning for your future, most definitely. I feel like 
you're being triggered here by these dreams because there is a level of planning that needs to happen. It's like you're having a good time, but you're still focused on your future at the same time. The Fool. Let's pull some more here. Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. November, November. The Death card. Okay, okay. And the Chariot. Yeah, so... For a lot of you, there's definitely some new starts, some fresh starts, some things that you are doing differently. And so, again, like I said, it's very much a month where you're planning, you're organizing, you're focused here on creating that new kind of happiness that's away from all of this drama and negativity. The never-ending story of obstacles, nah, we ain't doing obstacles, okay? We're doing progression. So you're focused on that. You're getting to this mindset where you're really trusting the divine God, the universe. You're trusting. You're opening up your heart space. You're ready for this experience. Excuse me, whether this be um, emotionally ready, spiritually ready, mentally ready. You are ready for major changes and transitions. You're not shying away from them because why? You know that you have control here to remove yourself from anything that's not really working for you. So there's a lot of forward movement here. And I love this energy because it's very balanced for the month. It's like just as playful as it is, it's also very lucrative in the way of you getting things in alignment and setting things where they need to be. What else is coming here for pile two for the month of November? We got the Hermit, okay. Justice, mm-hmm, mm-hmm and the king of wands so i feel like there are certain things and that's why i was already saying in the beginning that you're hermiting or pulling away from certain things that bring the wrong energy to you and so with all this new balance the justice this exchange gets right with all this new balance that you're really controlling you're bringing into place here in your life spirit is saying that you are much more passionate about life. You're much more motivated. Okay. You're much more relentless. You're much more open to communication, to seeing things for what they truly are. It's like you, and I love, cause this is like a director here in this King of Wands. Like you are really in that take charge energy in November. And it's like, if it ain't, you know, fun, if it's not making me happy, if it's not taking me ahead or bringing more stability into my life, growth is like you're not dealing with this. So it's like you're all about business, but at the same time, all about play. I'm loving this energy because it's so freaking balanced here in November. It's not extreme play to where things ain't getting done. No, you're still focused on your future. You're still breaking through um, barriers, busting through them doors, opening up yourself to new opportunities. And so it's actually a very lucrative month, like I said, both spiritually, emotionally, and materially. It was a pleasure. Hope this has helped. Sending you love, light, and blessings. And until the next time, bye. Hey, Pile 3. So quickly, I just want to tell you about Patreon, where you can find exclusive video content, free live readings every month, and an exclusive group coaching community where you get support and learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal any trauma that blocks love, and help you to step into the confidence you deserve. On my website, you can also find intuitive courses that help you to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or simply leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you for good. If you'd like a reading, you can also book one of those on my website. You can find all the details in the description box below. All right there, cute stuff. So you picked pile three here, which is the two of cups. We're going to find out here what it is that's coming for you in the month of November. If you didn't watch the intro, I'm saying it again in front of every pile. If you like these monthly predictions, please let me know so that I can keep doing them. Because right now, my ego, my mind just tells me not to do them because everybody does them at the end of the month. But if y'all want them, I want to do them. Okay, I want to make you happy. All right, now let's go ahead and get started to see what your energy is like here for the month of November. I'm doing it opposite direction as I usually do, starting with the oracles, then getting into the tarot spirit. Give us insight here into pile three. What can they expect for the month of November? So we got you here in the energy of the raven. And so the raven energy is that energy here of a shaman. It's a very 
magical energy. It's a very wise energy, okay? It's one that's very connected. You can see the little animal, animal totems here. So there's also a great level of stability. It's, it's like eyes wide open is calling out in this picture of the raven, seeing things, even from your side, from your peripheral, from your front. You see everything that's going on around you. So in the month of November here, you are stepping into your own wisdom and you are trusting that which you truly feel connected to is the energy that I'm getting, okay? So it's like you have certain divine messages that have come into you. There's things that are speaking to your heart, speaking to your soul. There are certain things that it's like, it feels like it's part of your purpose and you have these gifts that you're meant to share. And so spirit is saying here that in November, there's a major reflection and a major focus here on that. This is you knowing your own wisdom, trusting in your own wisdom, and also stepping into your power here to use this wisdom for the overall good. This is putting you in a very creative energy. It puts you in that energy here of the magician. The magician is the master of all elements, able to really make a way out of no way. So this is your energy here for the month of November. You are in this place here where you, I, I get a, a deep sense of clarity. Like you know what you're doing, you know where you're going, you know what you're accomplishing. So with this level of clarity, it's like nothing and no one can really stop you, okay? Nothing can really get in your way. And it's like, even if it seems like there's some sort of obstacle, there's this hidden wisdom, this deep wisdom that comes in that shows you another route, shows you the light. I feel a great level of problem solving here for you in the month of November. It's like you have so much wisdom and understanding that nothing is even a problem. Hmm. I'm loving this. Spirit, give us more here for pile three for the month of November. What do they need to know? We got chaos and conflict. Okay, give us more. Give us more. We got a change in the wind. This is a great combination to have together, right? Because we don't like the drama. Give us more for November. Give us more. Deep knowing. Okay, so Spirit is saying here that it is a time where there's been all this kind of conflict, okay? Chaos. Maybe it just seems like, I also feel like you almost feel like your life is being chaotic or, or full of conflict. Like when you try and stuff, things just happen a different way. And it's like, oh, sometimes you feel like things are out of your control, which some of it really is, right? Um, but Spirit is saying that November is like you're finally getting out of this chaos and conflict. So whatever period it has been, maybe it's been a few weeks, maybe it's been a few months, maybe it's been the damn year and you over it, right? Spirit is saying here that the chaos and conflict is coming to a change. We got a change in the way, change in the wind, which when it comes to chaos, that's always a good thing. We don't want to deal with it, right? You don't want to deal with the nonsense. No, 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 and no some more. Instead, you are ready for a, sense, a deep level of peace. And so with this, all the, the kind of cloudy skies, the chaos, the conflict, the drama, the negativity, spirit is wiping that away from you. There's going to be a major shift, just a major change in the wind. And, and spirit is saying that you've endured enough, okay? You've endured a lot. And so with this endurance, now comes this kind of break period for you to have some peace of mind. I think this is amazing energy. Part of this as well is you coming into some deeper awareness, deeper clarity. This actually goes hand in hand with the shaman energy, because like I said, you're receiving a lot of divine guidance and divine messages. And so it's up to you to trust this guidance, trust these messages and, and know that they're there to give you a clear path to help not hinder you on your journey. Spirit, give us more here. Oops. Four, pile three. Give us more here. What do we expect for the month of November? Month of November. We got conscious consumer. So it looks like you are going to be smart about your spending, which is always good in the month of November. You are releasing some complaining energy, which helps you to be more empowered and get more of what you want out of your life. And releasing any type of jealous energy. And I know we hate to be called jealous or envious or anything like that. It'd be annoying sometimes. But 
sometimes we yearn for things that aren't even really good for us. So we yearn for something because it looks good, right? It might be shiny. People might present it as good, but it's not really for us or even that great in the first place. You get what I'm saying? So Spirit is saying that in the month of November, you smart about your spending. And this is critical. I always say this, especially for anyone that celebrates the holidays, honey. November will hit them pockets. But you are being smart, okay? You're not about to sit here and waste and spend all your money on all this kind of crazy stuff. You are not in this place where you're just being very wasteful. So you're being very conscious about your spending. You're being very smart. And so this is helping you to kind of put money away where you need to. That's going to help you later on. You're also in this energy here for the month where you're not complaining because you're stepping into your own power. And this comes from that deep knowing and awareness, right? It's like you're you're like, okay, I, I know what I need to do. And complaining ain't never the answer. And I love this card. I'm going to read it. It says, complaints are affirmations of victimhood. And we know if you hear with me, you ain't no victim, baby. You strong, right? It says, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom with your increased confidence and assertiveness. All right? Watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. So, the less complaining you, you're doing here in the month of November, what's happening is you're becoming more confident in what you can do, what you are accepting, not accepting, what you're dealing with, not dealing with, right? Um, you are being more assertive about making decisions that make you happy. And so the main example I get from this no more complaining, what we always like to do is complain about our job. Been there for about 10 years, hate it but just complain, but spirit saying you got the ability to do whatever you want. You ain't got to complain. You can take charge, get another job. Okay. Work for yourself, do whatever you need to do. So this is you knowing your own power is what this is about to truly make things happen in your world and not just sitting back complaining and whining because we know that change is not a damn thing. Then the release jealousy card, it says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something, but it's not true, baby. It's not true. It says the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So there's this energy here of you being in this place where you are understanding here that there's no need to look at anybody cross and you're actually going to appreciate whatever it is that someone has that you desire. Because Spirit is saying when you start seeing people's successes, when you start seeing people winning, that in November you're going to take this as a like as um motivation for yourself okay you'll be like okay i see so and so got them you know a new core or i see so and so got them that new bag oh i see so and so got them a little surgery looking cute whatever it is you want i see so and so got them a little boo you know what i'm saying and it's like you know what if they can get it i can get it too and so with that mindset spirit is saying it's helping you to actually manifest and get the things that you desire most spirit tell us more here what can be expected in the month of november for pile three is funny because I feel like the fool came out in every single pile. Okay, so new beginnings, trusty. Nine of pentacles, give us more, give us more. The star, beautiful. We got the seven of cups and one more, what more? The magician, yes, the magician has been coming out consistently as well. November is very much a take charge month here for you all oh, my dear so there's gonna be this moment of truth where you just feel like i'm going with it i'm trusting my gut i'm trusting that things are gonna work out and spirit is saying this is a moment of self-love here for you things where you're doting and on yourself you're taking care of yourself by being very hopeful by being very inspired because what happens in this hopeful energy and this inspired energy is you make the right decisions to create more in your life. So November is very much a creative month, but it's also still focused off of you analyzing and making the right decisions with the seven of cups, okay? So if you make your decisions based off of confidence, assertiveness, awareness, right? Deep knowing, understanding, knowing what you deserve, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up creating this magic here in November, which means you are the master of all elements. You are taking charge. You are making things happen. Give us more here. What's happening for Pile 3 in November? We got the Five of Wands. The Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands. 
I love it. Okay. So this is again, you protecting yourself from the negativity, the chaos, the conflicts. Um, the five of wands represents that kind of conflict or too much going on. Ace of cups. It's like, you're ready for something new. So you're really watching. You're paying a lot of attention here in the month of November. It's like anything that seems like it may disturb your flow of, of, of consciousness, like disturb your clarity and your passion towards something. Uh, uh, you're going to be trying to stay away from that. Mm -hmm. Spirit is saying that you've allowed in the past distractions to get in your way, but you're not allowing distractions this time. You're gaining a certain level of clarity so that you move forward. You're taking the reins is what I'm hearing. Yep, Ace of Wands, and you're running with it, okay? You are running with it, <laughs> just like that fool. <laughs> I love it. They show me the fool running right off that cliff, right? Um, and this is bringing you a new level of stability in your life. And this is because you are making practical decisions. You are doing things from a standpoint of not allowing chaos or negativity to rule your energy, but become more of a background noise that you ain't even focused on at all. You're focused on taking care of yourself and making the decisions that bring you more and put you in alignment with your true happiness, your true purpose. It was a pleasure sending you love, light, and blessings. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and until the next time, bye.